after the flood, uh, God dealt with them, uh, gave them promises. And that's how we come to that dispensation of promise with Abraham. And God made great precious promises to Abraham. Abraham, the Bible said he had the gospel preached unto him. And uh, from that, you know, uh, the children of Israel, as you know, um, uh, they went into captivity. Uh, they were there for that uh, 400 year period. And God brought them out of captivity in Egypt. And that started that dispensation of law uh, with Moses. God used Moses. And um, then there was probably a span of maybe 1,600 years wherein uh, the children of Israel went into captivity. God brought them out uh, of their captivity. And then here comes uh, the birth of Jesus Christ. And when the birth of Jesus Christ happened, you know, God set up some things. Getting ready to start uh, the dispensation of grace. And the dispensation of grace, that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, and the book of Acts started uh, on the day of Pentecost. God started a new thing. He said, The law came by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. And, and this dispensation of grace is going to end uh, at the rapture. When the rapture happens, that's when the period of grace is going to end. And then there's going to be that period of tribulation where all hell will break loose upon this earth. And then after that, uh, Jesus is going to come back, reestablish, and then he's going to go into the dispensation of the millennium kingdom. Jesus is going to reign uh, for uh, a thousand years here upon this earth. And he's going to reign upon this earth with the saints and those that made it through the tribulation and the believing Jews that are left here on this earth. And then after that, <laughs> my God, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> after that, uh, uh, after that thousand year period, Satan is going to be re uh, 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 leashed uh, during that thousand year period. We're going to have peace. The rule of Jesus is going to be established throughout this earth. And after that, uh, uh, Satan is going to be released again. And there's going to be some trouble. There's going to be some problems. And then Jesus is going to come and reestablish his, his authority. Satan is going to then be. Uh, and it's going to be over for us. And then we're going to end up in the, the what the Bible talks about, the everlasting kingdom, where time will be no more. Uh, we got a whole lot of that right there. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But, but this time, right now, the time that we're in right now is of grace. And, you know, there's, there's certain things that are, are marked out. Uh, by this particular dispensation, this time period, where God is dealing with us. And um, God is dealing with us, and this time, the dispensation of grace has some certain characteristics to it. And we have to uh, really uh, 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 assess ourselves, you know, to make sure that we're walking the way God has desired and, and, and in, this, in this time. If you know anything about God and grace, grace means God's unmerited favor that he's extended or he has shown unto us. And he extends his unmerited favor based on his love. Amen? Based on God's love. As the scripture says, God so loved the world that he gave, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever <coughs> believeth in him should not what? Perish, be eternally separated from God, but have everlasting life. And, and, and in this time, God is literally uh, uh, dealing with us with forgiveness, forgiveness of our sins, of our transgressions. And, and God wants his saints 
to actually walk in forgiveness, to forgive people of their sins and their transgressions, and, and demonstrate, as he demonstrates, a, a period of grace to, 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 to help to build his kingdom. And that's what God wants. He wants us to build his kingdom through the demonstration of love. Amen? Hallelujah. Do y'all believe that tonight? Amen. Uh, that God wants us to walk in love. Uh, that's the time that we're in. And in order to do that, we have to forgive. Amen? And in order to forgive, then we have to release people from their debts as God has released us from our debts, our sins, and our iniquities. And then, God, with that, God uh, wants us to build up and to encourage, like he has given his, his five-fold ministry uh, for, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. That's what God wants in his church. He wants us to operate in unity and to build one another up because Jesus is coming back for a people prepared. Amen? And God has given us all assignments to help uh, work with one another uh, to prepare one another for the coming of Jesus Christ. Amen? For the rapture that's going to take place. Thessalonians tells you that. The book of Thessalonians tells you that, that the rapture is going to come. But what we have to get into our, our psyche uh, and our mindset that is, is, is not about what I want, but it's about what God wants. Amen. Amen. It's God's plan and what he desires. Yes. And we are, we are, if you allow me to say this word, we are actors within the movie or the plan of God. And we all have our part and our role to play in order for us to accomplish what God has designed in this time. Amen? Amen. All right. Thank you, Lord. So in order to help us to do that, hallelujah, in order to help us to do that, uh, God, God established then the day of Pentecost. The day of Pentecost. Uh, let's go over to the book of Acts, uh, chapter number two. You know, Paul said, made a statement. He said, walk in love. <clears throat> and, 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 and basically that walking in love means to live in an environment of love. Uh, because God is love, and in him there's no darkness at all. All right? And God loves us, doesn't he love us? Uh, and he cares about us. And, and he wants us to love one another and to care about one another. Thank you, Lord. So we see here in the book of Acts, uh, Acts chapter number 2, it says, uh, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, there were all, they were all with one accord in one place. And you know that Jesus told his disciples, it was basically 120 of them, uh, uh, including the apostles, that all gathered together in, in Jerusalem in another room. Wherein, uh, under, at this particular time, before the Holy Ghost came, they were still under the law. They were waiting for the birth of the church. Amen? The birth of the church begins with Pentecost. Uh, so, so that word Pentecost there was one of the major three celebrations that the children of Israel had. They had uh, uh, the Passover, and the Feast of the Tabernacles, and uh, then they had the Pentecost, you know, which means fifth. And, and with this particular time, uh, uh, let, me, let, me, let me slow down for a minute. At, 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 at Pentecost, it was a major celebration for uh, 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 not only for the Jews, but for people that fellowship with the Jews. They, they came to celebrate Pentecost. And, and Pentecost uh, also, at this particular time, 
time uh, uh, during this, this season of Pentecost was also a year of jubilee. And uh, when the Holy Ghost fell, it was a year also of jubilee. And that year of jubilee was uh, uh, every seven years, uh, the, the children of Israel, they forgave each other of all their debts. And uh, 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 to them, having a debt that meant that, you know, if you couldn't pay your debt, then uh, I could take your children. They worked for me for seven years to work off your debt. Uh, and uh, so, 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 so having debt was a very serious thing. And, and uh, so that uh, every seven years, uh, um, I'm sorry, not seven years, every, every 50 years, I'm sorry, every 50 years, uh, so it probably once in everybody's lifetime, uh, that, that they would uh, be able to uh, uh, be debt free. Uh, where if, uh, they, uh, the, whoever owed, owed somebody something, they would release them from the debt uh, and free them from the debt uh, so, so they have a zero balance. And, and that's significant because at the, at the Pentecost uh, represented uh, 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 everybody having a zero balance of, of sin with God. They were all set free. Everybody was on equal ground uh, to, to, to live uh, a, a life uh, literally being born again. Uh, and that's what God did for us uh, uh, through Jesus Christ. When an individual gets saved, uh, they, they're literally uh, free from sin. Uh, they're literally new creatures created in Christ Jesus to live a life of holiness and righteousness uh, free from the death, the burden of, of sin. Amen? Free from the oppressor. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, so we see here, uh, it says, and when the day of fully, uh, Pentecost was fully come, when it was fully come, that 50th, uh, the 50th day, now notice, it was the 50th day after uh, Passover. Uh, 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 Passover uh, represented uh, the, the freedom uh, of the Jews leaving uh, uh, the Egyptians. And they were set free not to serve themselves, but they were set free to serve God. And that's what salvation is about. Uh, God freeing you not to serve yourself, but freedom to serve God in the beauty of holiness. Amen? So, 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 the 50 days after the Passover, Pentecost happened. Celebration. They said, when it was fully come, there were all, they were all with one accord in one place. All the, the 12 disciples that, uh, well, uh, it was 12 after they got the other guy. <laughs> what was his name? Um, What was his name? Matthias. Yes, Matthias. Exactly. Yep. Uh, uh, after they uh, selected him, uh, then they were back to being 12 because he took the bishopric of Judas, who betrayed Jesus, hung himself, and died. So, uh, 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 and not only the 12 were there, but there were some more that were gathered to make the number 120 souls. All right? So we see, the scripture says, then, says, and suddenly uh, there came a sound from heaven, because Jesus told them to go there and tarry and wait until you be endowed with power from on high. You, you can't be really active in the kingdom of God until you get some power. Amen? Until you get an anointing. <laughs> Hallelujah. So he said, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind. Uh, and there, and it fell, and it, uh, uh, of course we can read from it. <laughs> I, I tried. Thank you. Suddenly there came a sound from heaven. Uh -huh. It was a rushing mighty wind. Yeah. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. Uh -huh. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as 
of grace. And notice how God ushered it in. He ushered it in. And he said, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a mighty rushing wind. So the first thing they heard was a sound. Huh? And, it, and, and, and it originated from where? Heaven. heaven. Amen. God originated his church from heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Read. And, and, and that sound filled the house where all, they were all sitting. Read. And they appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. Uh huh. And it sat upon each of them. Now, those cloven tongues meaning, uh, cloven meaning diverse. There were, there, were, there were many tongues. And that word tongues means there were many languages. Huh? And those many languages, it sat upon each of them. Amen? Hallelujah. Uh, in other words, they, they were going to be used by God to speak the wonderful works of God. All right? Read. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Now, hold on for a minute. They were all filled. Now, with the Holy Ghost. Under the Old Testament, the Holy Ghost moved upon them, but it didn't really fill them up to, to allow the Holy Ghost to be carried around with them. And God had always desired to dwell with his people. Now God is, and in this dispensation, is, is dwelling with us. When I say with us, he's always wanted to dwell in us. Uh, because we are his tabernacle. Amen. God doesn't really, uh, he manifests himself in, in, in a place, but he wants to dwell in us. He wants to abide in us. Amen. Uh, we need to empower us to do his will. And when we think of the scripture says, and they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Now, you'll see that term in the book of Acts several times, being full of the Holy Ghost. And that, that literally means they were literally, they had the Holy Ghost and they were literally influenced by the Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, I know some of you, not all of you, probably have been intoxicated before in your life. Uh, that's by the spirits. Amen. And, and those spirits, those, the alcohol, influence your behavior. Uh, same way how the Holy Ghost does. When you are intoxicated, filled with the Holy Ghost, it influences your behavior. Uh, I mean, you walk in the ways of God, controlled by the Holy Ghost. Uh, so anybody that's filled with the Holy Ghost, they're walking under the anointing, being influenced by the anointing, being led by God's Spirit. Now, let me ask you a question. Can you have the Holy Ghost but not be filled with the Holy Ghost? Huh? Uh, absolutely. Uh, because you have the, the, the ability to control whether or not you're going to allow the Holy Ghost to control you. Uh, so you can have the Holy Ghost but not be full. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, Y'all know it. That means to be full it means that you are allowed
because the celebration was in Jerusalem, so he said there were Jews there. Devout men. All right, now there were there were religious men. That word devout uh, means that they were religious. You know, they had a conscience of God. Not necessarily they were saved, but but they were they were they were they were religious. Amen. All right. We,
that day. But, but we are the record of Peter speaking. And we are that record of Peter speaking by providence of God. It was God already uh, that we would have this record concerning Peter. Why? Because Peter was one that, that, that betrayed Christ. Uh, he denied him. And then Jesus, he restored him. Uh, and restored him to use him for his glory. Uh, we, 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 uh, 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 we all have sometime in our lives denied him. Uh, but God is able to restore us uh, and to use us for his glory. Do y'all believe that tonight? Hallelujah. Uh, God is able to do that. Uh, that's why we have a record of Peter. Uh, and, and Peter was given the keys to the kingdom. Hallelujah. Uh, so that he can open the doors of the church. Hallelujah. Uh, God, 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 my God, my God. I, I thank God that he's able to restore. Uh, that he's able to renew. Uh, that he's able to revive. Hallelujah. I thank God. Hallelujah. That, that, that when I fall, hallelujah, a righteous man falls. It's not only does, but it does what? Get back up. Hallelujah. Get back up. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Get back up. Don't let nobody pick you down. Hallelujah. God, if God be for you, uh, who then can be against you? So Peter, he's standing up with the eleven. Why? Because he couldn't let that go. Amen. That you talk about these men are drunk. As they said, as, 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 uh, well, he, didn't, he said they're not drunk. He just spoke. But he couldn't let that go because they were mocking. Uh, they were mocking the Lord. Uh, and saying that what God was doing was, was, was blood. They were blaspheming the plan and of God. You know, we should feel some type of way uh, when people blaspheme the things that be of God. I ain't telling you to go out and kill them, uh, but you know, we should be advocates of God. Uh, we should be witnesses of God. Amen? Uh, we should stand up for righteousness. Uh, righteousness exalts a nation. Sin is a reproach to any people. Amen? Uh, and I, and I'm saying, you know, that, that, that the state that we're in now in the world, uh, 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 God said it was going to happen. But you know, more of us need to stand up, uh, declare what they said the Lord. Uh, declare uh, uh, God, what, what God planned here. You know, God love it. Hallelujah. God, God doesn't like evil. God doesn't like homosexuality. God doesn't like a uh, uh, wickedness, gambling, and stealing, and all that. Amen. God doesn't like that. Amen. Um, and you know, uh, 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 one of the greatest fights, one of the greatest fights in the physical church, in, the, in this church that we see, amen, is, is apostasy. You know, in that, that word apostasy, it means that, that people are in their mind, they, they, they come to the church, but in their, in, in, in their mind, they're not present at church. Uh, hallelujah, my God. And, 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 and having that mindset, not being careful, not being, not being diligent, not, not being faithful, not being committed, uh, it only takes a few bad apples uh, to swallow a whole bunch. Uh, and, and, and bring a bad name to the Holy Ghost Church, the body of Christ. Amen? So, so that's why, you know, we've got to walk uh, in, 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 in our integrity with Christ. Uh, that's why we've got to uh, do the things that, 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 that God uh, will ordain us to do to bring Him glory, honor, and praise. Amen? Hallelujah. All right, we're going to have a verse in 15. 15, what does it say? For these are not drunken as you suppose. Now, there you go. Peter stand up. He said, these are not drunken 
about building a foundation, uh, about staying in this country, about waiting on the Lord, uh, about, about being patient. Uh, I need to get a great more fruit. Hallelujah. All right, one more scene. All right, read.
his, his great soul is too all the time. Amen. Read. Therefore, being a prophet and knowing that God has sworn with an oath to him uh -huh. that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he <coughs> would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. Now, no, he's not a powerful man. David was a prophet of God, and God spoke to David because David desired to make God a, a house. Huh? Uh-huh. For David is 
it convicts an individual. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Uh, notice, I didn't say condemn. Uh, only because uh, uh, Christ it didn't come to condemn us. He came to convict us. Yeah. Amen? Convict us of our sin. Yeah. Amen? Uh, you know, uh, 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 how can I say it? Lord, help me here, Holy Ghost. That, 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 um, you don't have to prove people are sinners, just give them some time. Uh, and they'll, they'll prove themselves. <laughs> you follow? Uh, you, you, don't have to, you don't have to prove people need Christ, just give them some time. Uh, uh, like the time uh, will prove it itself. Amen? All right, read. What you say? Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. Uh, they were convicted in their heart. Now, that's, that's in their heart is dealing with the will, the intellect, the emotions. That's where true repentance happens. Amen? The turning of mind uh, to God. Turning away from an opinion, thought. Turning away from sin and making a decision to turn to God. Yes. That's repentance. Uh, and all the emotion that comes behind it is just that the emotion that comes behind the decision. But the decision to turn is repentance. And it has to be made in the will, the intellect, the emotion, and the heart. Amen? Uh, all right, and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, uh -huh. Men and brethren, what shall we do? Now no, they said, What shall we do? We. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, uh -huh. turn, and be baptized every one of you. Change in Jesus Christ. Change your thoughts concerning Jesus. Amen. Can change your thought concerning him. Now, what did Peter tell them about Jesus. He told them that he was a man approved of God. Uh, that they, by wicked hands, slew him by God's predetermined counsel. And God raised him from the dead. They didn't tell them that. And that this same Jesus, God has made him both Lord and Christ, and he's sitting uh, at the right hand of God. Uh, they hated Jesus. Huh? They, they crucified Jesus. Yeah. But, but in Paris, he was telling them, change your mind about how you feel about Jesus. Yeah. What you think about him. Yeah. Amen? That's repentance. Oh, God. That's true repentance. Oh, and, and when you change your thoughts, then your actions will change. Yeah. Amen? Your behavior will change. When you make up in your mind, you're going to do something and, and, and turn away from something, your actions must follow. Uh, or you have to really make it up in your mind. Amen? Um, all right, read. What verse? 28. All right, he said, uh, read. Then Peter said unto them, uh -huh. Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall be now, he's telling them how to receive that same gift that they bought them. Uh, that they said these men are drunk. Uh, and, and Peter didn't play. 
They gladly received it. Huh? And they were what? Baptized. You gotta receive it. As many as received it, to them gave you what? To become the sons of God. You gotta receive it, not reject it. Huh? Hallelujah. Read. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. So, so, first, 120 souls were added the first day of the church. Then that same day, 3,000 souls were added. So, 3,120 souls uh, added in one day. That's a hard thing. Oh, uh, we got this awesome God. Thank you, Jesus. The reason why we live here today is that to mark the birth of the church. And the birth of the church started with the revival. Amen? Uh, it started with souls getting saved, set free and delivered. God manifesting his miracle signs and wonders. And God left us a promise. Amen? Hallelujah. Left us a promise that, 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 that he's going to pour out his spirit, his anointing, upon all flesh. And those that believe uh, will be what? Saved. Saved. All right, any questions on our Bible study? We'll let y'all go to the earth. Yeah. <laughs>